So in this video, it's going to be about this site here, which is dozydays.co.uk, and it's about COVID, uh, long COVID and uh, ME. And it's been up here for years and years and years. And I want to change it. And the thing is, is why I want to do that in the beginning is because uh, I just realised that it's going to be renewed um, and I'm not going to pay the amount that they're wanting now. Um, so what we're going to do with this is do, I'm going to do it in Bootstrap Studio. And so what I hope is, is that if I can get time and things like that, I'm going to do videos and, I, and I'm going to do it where... There's mistakes and things like that because I haven't, I haven't actually done a website, a whole website for ages. Um, so we're starting with a clean sheet on this um, where it's just with, with the panel, as you say, there's not going to be any themes or anything like that. But So that's, what, that's one part of this um, video. The other one is a lot of the material in this website is... Uh, is still what I'm going to use. Not all of it. It's going to be a fresh, a fresh look and, and basically updated things and like that about the illness and that. Um, so what I thought was when when I've looked on um, on YouTube, I don't see that many great things about FileZilla. So FileZilla is this FTP file transfer protocol client. And if you go to filezillaproject.org, I'll leave the description or I'll leave the um, link in the description. So you go to this file down, um, the download filezilla client, not the download filezilla server. That's basically for you know for a team of people. Um, so just download, and install it like any other, and you'll be able to see this as it is. So I mean, when you come to this, it's uh, it can look really quite daunting if you like. So what you have here is you've got your host, your username and password and port. And you could be thinking, well, what's that about? And there is, as I said, there's not that much on YouTube about that particular thing. I think where it is is that everybody thinks that you know, but you, you don't if you... If you're a newcomer, and I, I, I had to remember it, and I thought, well, what, what I, I forget how to use it. <laughs> and the difference between um, a web copy or a web copier is that a web copier, see, you can web copy any website on the uh, online. But what a web copier does is only copy that particular website. So it doesn't copy all the files because it's, it's blocked from that. But when you use a, a file tr uh, protocol, um, what it does is you can have everything. I'm, I've got stacks of stuff. I've got quite a few websites actually on this particular, what you see is you only see that dozy days thing, but um, there is other websites on there that I've done that's not actually not online. And they sometimes just practice things. Um, I use them as practice and sometimes they were live. But they're all up there. There's, there's tons of files, hundreds of files that you don't see, but when you use a, a file cellar, you only use it for yourself um, as so that you see everything and you can download it all. So anyway, so what we're going to do, and I'm going to show that, here's uh, Trouble on Web Host Customer Control. Now, if you followed this channel before, uh, for a long time, I've used this for uh, wait, many years, I think, and um, just checking something here. And... Uh, the wall has been really good, but with the, um, the HTTPS hyper text transfer protocol security thing that they have now, um, the expect and a lot of money for that thing, where it's saying that the website isn't safe as it is. It, it, it's perfectly safe. There's no viruses or anything, but that's what it's saying in, in a lot of uh, these things now. Right, so okay, then I've got my email and password. So when when you use your, you know, the, the people who you use to host your website, um, what I'm wanting to do is to try out this thing with Bootstrap Studio where it, you know, the, you have your, uh, you put it up online. And I'm not sure what that exactly means. I know I've talked a little bit about it, but anyway, I'm sorry about all the rambling here, but I'm, I'm, I'm a rambler. Um, so anyway, you put this in here, log in. 
So, right, you have, uh, I've got two things, nigelbrewster.co.uk, which is the other one. I don't think this is for new re renewal. Um, just give it a second, show that one. Ah, uh, yeah, and uh, let me go to here. Right, so what you have here is the door near, your, your reference is Dozy Days, which is, it's, as you can see there, renew now and log in. So now you're logging in. I'll just uh, actually go back to that. So your pass, show passwords, right? So these are the passwords. Obviously, I'm not going to, these will be blurred out. So I just copy paste, copy, and domain name is Dozy Days and that password. So here you go, and sometimes I kind of see these uh, things, you know, the security checks. So what I'm saying is SCTDS. I hope that's all right. Because sometimes I, 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 I get mixed up, I haven't really great, the greatest eyesight, you know. Anyway, so these here is about DNS management and stuff like that. We'll, we'll go to manage hosting, this one here. And whoever you use, and if, if you can, if you uh, know something about the Bootstrap Studio hosting thing, I mean, mention it in the comments. Um, as I say, I'm gonna do these things. I will make mistakes, and because I haven't done it for for ages. So manage hosting. It takes a while on this, doesn't it? Right. Okay. So now you've got. FTP is currently locked. So. We're going to unlock that. So now we've done that. So it already has the username, which is dozydays.co.uk. Right. So we um, we need the password. The FTP server IP, right, is this one here. So it's got 79, 170, 44, 19. Why are you not doing that? Right, okay, copy paste as well. Um, so the host, right, is this here. So you paste that, and the username on here is dozydays.co.uk. So it's not HTTP or HTTPS, it's just dozydays. Dozy days. Is is that wrong? Um, core.u core.uk. And the password is just a moment. And uh, click here to show password. Right. I mean, even hackers kind of kind of say that this thing. It's very difficult. So that's it. This is how you do it. Paste. Right. Quick connect. So it does not support FTP over TLS or the show insecure plan FTP. Okay, right. Okay, so we're in. So now is all your files. So how do you get your files? I'm just I'm thinking if you you knew public HTML. So there. Uh, right. So everything on there is there, and um, you see bootstrap test, um, DHTML, um, and all sorts of things, Nigel Brewster, loads of stuff that you cannot see. Uh, private files and, and these things, I've got like loads of things. It's, it, what I've used it for is, um, is like basically about cloud. You know, I've used my own cloud, if you like. Um, so you go into, here, go to file manager. And then the public HTML. Like I said on the FTP, this is like in your public HTML there. Just zoom into that. Okay, so that you do that. And you do basically the same on here. 
and then you see all the files and that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the, all them, and um, you know this what. Uh, it's going to be stacks and stacks, but yeah. So that's uh, that's basically what I'm going to do. Well, so this is the first part of of this new venture, and then like so, I'm just showing you what the how to get the you know the FTP work and then everything like that. And sometimes the best thing you know when like in in all sorts of computer stuff, you're always going to get where. You know that you panic. I mean, it's like a, <laughs> it's really, you know, download. I just download all them. And successful transfers of eight hundred and thirty-two. So basically, that's what you do. Um, thanks for watching, and sorry about all my rambling. And uh, I know. I feel like, you know, that Led Zeppelin song, Ramble On, that's how I feel like I am, you know. Um, but hopefully in um, in the next uh, video, I can get a little start on these, some of these things and, um, you know, and, and try to build the, the whole site. As I say, it's quite a large site. Um, so hopefully I can get on with that. And, um, yeah, so maybe the you know, and uh, I'm always looking for, you know, new ways, so anybody in the comments and that, that uh, thinks they know better ways or something like that, you know, that's great as well. So thanks for watching.